Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the Eastern Illinois Panthers and the Washington Huskies. And of course, our starting lineup. I really like that matchup at the point guard position, guys. Part of the responsibility is to be the coach on the floor who will play well enough to lead their team to victory. So here we go. Got it in the low block. Takes the medium range jump shot. He can't get it to go. Coleman receives the ball. The Huskies and they're in their motion offense working with four around one. If you have a big guy that can find people, it really puts a lot of pressure on the D. This guy is really known as a power guy. He's a banger, Gus. Uses that bulk and size to score in the three second lane. Robinson handles the pass. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Rafter. He shoots from the top of the key. Squared up on the catch. That is puppies in order. He shoots from the... The shot counts and the foul. Concentration following through, Gus. And a look at some of the numbers he's been putting up this year. Great players find different ways to contribute every game. Because they know the only stat that really matters is wins. On the outside. He takes the three. Oh! Way out on the right wing. Shots up, and he gets it. They work the perimeter. With 10 to shoot on the shot clock. Manning receives the pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. He missed it. Takes the board. Four minutes left on the game clock. On the right side. And they get the turtle. Miles handles the feed. How about that elevation? When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a bit easier. You know, this guy can move the basketball and create his own opportunities. Really a tough guard, does. And no! Pushes it. He fires away, and it's three minutes left on the game clock. Shots off. What a rebound. It's mine. They work the perimeter. Now with 10 to shoot. Out on the right wing. 
This one is shaping up to be a beauty. We're about halfway through the first, and both teams are competing well. I think both teams are executing well. Ultimately, it's going to come down to who is going to play tougher at the defensive end and rebound the ball. On the outside, he tries the three. Coach, these guys are really struggling here tonight. Having a tough time finding the goal. Not a great performance here tonight, Gus. It's stripped. Active hand. Goes out of bounds. What can stay at this end? Raf, so far it's been a demonstration of teamwork. When you have guys that want to win, you're going to get different players stepping up at different times and in different ways. And that's always great to watch, especially as a coach. Raf, he got away with the foul. Whose side are you on here, Gus? Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Two shots. No. Not this time. <laughs> Pushes it. How about this kid, huh? Robinson is a pure score. He was recruited and is on this team to score the basketball. He's definitely a talent. You can relate to him uh, when it comes to putting the ball in the hoop, but he's got to be careful. You've got to remember to involve your teammates. And we're ready. And we're back. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery with you here, ready to inbound after the timeout. Down in the low block. Jump shot. Nice. Great anticipation defensively. Owen on the move. We are at the one minute mark. On the right side. In the post, fires. Nice look, bam. Entry pass in the paint. Shots off, takes the board. And that one is blocked. On the left side, he shoots from the corner. Comes up empty from deep. Up next, the road to the final four. Please stay tuned. Here we see how these two teams are stacking up against each other so far. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game. Coach, you talked about the pressure of NCAA tournament play, and here it is in the second half, and you know it's building on both of these teams. One thing that separates who can march on to win six in a row from those who can't is the ability to handle pressure. The ability to play with poise and be able to finish games is extremely important. Low block. Shots up. And misses. Give me that. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. Great hustle. Ball's going to stay here. Ball coming in from the sideline. He 
check time from long range. Outside Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots, and not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. Ah, he got it up and in. On the right side. The Panthers now running the five out. Open motion offense. And then they had the screen down or the pin down and curl. Extremely tough to defend. Dials up a long range shot. Ooh, he knocks it down. Big time bucket. The Panthers running their zone offense. This particular offense is extremely tough because they get into the high-low look. Weather handles the feed. He unloads the three. Misses from the outside. We're at the four-minute mark. Bang! No. English on it. On the inside. Inside. On the right side. Jump shot with the answer. Coleman receives the ball. Straight away. How about that? Huh? Three minutes left on the game clock. McGrew gets the pass. Fires. Got it! Got to admire the kids with that middle game. The ability to shoot the mid-range jumper. Must be able to pull it up and knock it down. Now they work it around the perimeter. Huskies did a great job going through the high post on that play. They got the ball to the big guy at the high post, and the D just couldn't react in time, Gus. That's often the case when the ball goes into that area of the court. Raph, it's obvious that the tournament is very competitive this year. These two teams have showed that they belong. They played great in the first half, and now it's likely that this contest will go down to the wire. Well, my gut tells me that this one is going to come down to coaching on both sides. I think the coach's strategic maneuvers here are going to be the big difference. Making sure that the star players are getting the ball in the right place will be used. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. you really got to know your limitations, Gus. When he gets to the line, he knocks it down. He values these looks, Gus. A good opportunity put points on the board. He got them both. On the left side. He throws it up from downtown. He misses from downtown. On the right side. Up and in. Ha ha! Big finish coming here, Raph, and we're staying put. Offensively, this is when the star players should have the ball, Gus. It's time for the playmakers to step up and lead their team to victory. He gets it to fall. with the ball around a minute remaining he fires from long range oh what a second effort there you gotta love his ability to get in there and secure the offensive rebound
pulls down the rebound. On the right side. In the lane. He doesn't get the hoop. Now it's just a matter of clock management, isn't it, Coach? This is where your point guard becomes very important. On the right side. Clock management, Gus. That's what it's all about now. Stopping the clock in order to get back into this game. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. Offensively, they'll set up from the sideline. And, of course, another foul as they try to remain close. How much else they can do. Foul. And that stops the clock again. They're set to throw it in from the side. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. Sideline inbound. And the foul will stop the clock momentarily. Gus, as a coach, your seniors are really, really important. The other class will look at them for guidance and direction. But the seniors accepting of this role it really helps out the coaching staff and the team as a whole. Welcome back, and we're set to inbound after the timeout. On the wing. And yet another stoppage, and yet another foul. And why not? And there are his per-game numbers. Numbers can tell you a lot of different things. You see the most important stuff about a player, you have to watch him play. Book it. Out on the left wing. He shoots from downtown. And it goes. What a big time shot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. The Panthers are a pretty good free throw shooting team. I know the coach takes pride in their free throw shooting. It's something they really have worked on. Rims off. Look for the outlet. And we're back, ready to get things going again after the timeout. Out on the right wing. Second team foul. A chance for two. Great attack. He misses it. Anderson receives the pass. And, of course, another foul as they try to remain close. How much else they can do. With the pair. Sinks it. Looks like some personnel changes coming in here, Coach. Both free throws go. He shoots from long range. He can't get the hoop to fall. Well, Bill, sometimes statistics lie, but in NCAA tournament basketball, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. 